Good morning, this is Martin Lett, and I'm coming to you from Eastern Europe, a place called Bucharest, Romania. We're missionaries here, and we have two guests with us today from America that came to help us. And we went out to the village yesterday, to three different little villages, or two little villages. And today we're going to go to five different places, so pray for us as we go out and spread the gospel. That's what Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And I'm so glad you tuned in for this little five-minute broadcast. I want to sing a song called Pure Heart. A pure heart, oh, that's what I long for. Oh, a heart that follows hard after certain places and save certain folks. His desire was to go from place to place to place to preach the word of the gospel to the poor and to those that were in trouble. You know, he went and healed everywhere he was going, he was healing. And today we have a, a watered down religion that doesn't have any power. But over here in these different places and like in, in Africa and different places where you know, the religious uh, denominations can't control, uh, like the political parties, those that are in leadership. It's a wonderful thing, I'm telling you. I think about it sometimes, how that God has called us to go and, and to preach. I told the brothers yesterday from America, we have two brothers, Brother Steve Roy from over in Boston and another brother from down in Oklahoma, Fred Golf, dear brothers that come to visit with us and to pray for us there. And I trust you pray for us. They support us. They came over, and what a blessing yesterday. We went out to these little villages way back in the woods, and uh, these little gypsy villages, and they all came in sitting chairs, and it's just so full of people and children, and, and people look hungry for hope. They're looking for, for the Lord. And I want you to pray about being a part of this ministry. Amen. Uh, you say, well, Brother Martin, I can't come over. Well, you can follow us on Facebook. You can call us, and we'll send you tapes. We'll send you uh, messages on Skype. We can... Take the mess, take you right out to the villages and let you talk to the people. Let me read one verse of scripture to you. Okay, it's found in Romans. In Romans chapter 10, it said, If thou shalt believe in thy heart the Lord Jesus, and canst confess with thy mouth that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But then it goes on to say a few other things. I just want to clear this up real quick. Since we're doing evangelism work today, many times I teach and I preach, and I try to feed the sheep. But there are times... Uh, that when the Lord tells us to feed, to feed the sheep. But let me show you something here. In John chapter 10, in verse 9 uh, and 10, then it goes down here, it says, How shall they call upon him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe on him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? You see, we're a body, and every one of us has a function. I don't know if yours is a thumb, a little finger, or what it is, or a hand, or ear, or eye. But we're together in this thing. Our, our heart's desire is to reach out and to find as many of the sheep, the lost sheep that the Lord has, before He comes, and He's coming quick. Amen. I know there's a lot of things going on in America right now uh, with Donald Trump and and Ted Cruz and a political party and all kinds of stuff going on with all over the world. But let's don't lose the scope of what's going on with the Lord and His desire is to go ye in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. If you're not doing it, you can. You can. Amen. You can be obedient. You can please Him. You can be like the Lord Jesus when He said, This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. That's all I want to hear. 
when I get to heaven. And may the Lord Jesus bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.